River State Governor Hie Somerson Wiki has stated that River's people are proud of the former Chief of Army Staff, General Kenneth Minima, for his contributions to the nation's building and his spirited defense of constitutional democracy during the 2015 general elections. About the opportunity you had to take over the realm of affairs of this country, but for your fear of God, you did not. We thank you for that, and I want to tell you that we are very proud of you as a river son. Governor Wike said that General Minima stood on the side of integrity and refused to use the Nigerian army negatively, as was the case during the 2019 elections. Speaking during the 60th birthday celebration of General Minima on Saturday in Portaket, Governor Wike praised General Minima for his outstanding commitment to the maintenance of security across the country during his leadership as Chief of Army Staff. The current Chief of Army Staff was represented at the event by General Officer Commanding 6th Division of the Nigerian Army, Major General Jamil Saham, represented by his Chief of Staff, Engineer Chukwe Mekawoke. The River State Governor said that General Minima has been a good ambassador of River State. He said that as Chief of Army Staff, General Minima respected the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and never used the Nigerian army to manipulate the general elections across the country and in River State. As at that 2015, when you were the chief of army staff, that the governorship candidate for all progressive congress in River State is your own brother from Opobo town. And for a very selfish chief of army staff, having lost the first election at the center, would have said, well, for my safety and my protection, let me support my brother. I beg, any high, be as he be, home now home. But you remain firm. You stood and upheld the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which you swore to. You never interfered in the general election that took place in River State in 2015, unlike what we witnessed in the last election, where I, when I saw General Numenbele spoke here, I recall the ordeal he passed through at Ogu as a coalition officer of PDP. We are a captain as a retired general to sit on the floor for more than 48 hours because he was a coalition officer. That is not the Nigerian army you led. And that is why the people of River State were proud of you. You were firm, you were strong, you were upright, and you had the fear of God. The chairman of the occasion said it all. And let me add, that you are a good ambassador of River State. We are proud of you, you are our proud son. You are a detrabalized River citizen. That is why you did not see the reason to support an Opobo son over and above an Equerry son. You allowed the will of the people of River State to prevail, and we have the government that we have today. Governor Wiki urged other River leaders to use their position to promote River State instead of the market in the state. Let me use this opportunity to charge other sons and daughters of River State, when they have opportunity to serve, they should, for goodness sake and for the fear of God, be good ambassadors of the state. We do not want people who will have opportunity to serve the state and they will be demarcating River State. Let's have people, military officers, politicians, who will be deep trabalized, who will be straightforward, dedicated, loyal, and above all, be respected and respect the constitution of the Federal Republic. Also speaking, former Minister of Transport Dr. Abiy Sekibo described the former Chief of Army Staff as a man of integrity. I want to talk a little bit about integrity. When they say a human being has integrity, when you hear that, one of the things I want you to have at the back of your mind is a man called General Kenneth Minima, former Chief of Army Staff of Nigeria. He said that the Buhari administration should be grateful to General Kenneth Minima 
for refusing to negatively use the Nigerian army to intervene in the 2015 electoral process. Persons in this country, mainly, mainly from the northern part of this country, brought pressure to bear on the chief of staff, General Minima, to intervene and prevent Buhari from becoming president of this country. And this gentleman, this general, this man of integrity, said it is against the law. He said it is against the law. He refused. There was pressure. I said many of them were from the same part of the country as General Buhari. They did not want General Buhari to become president. And they wanted the man Jonathan appointed to take over. And he refused. Let me say this. If it was not Kenneth Minima that was chief of army staff then, if the chief of army staff was a northerner, General Buhari would not be president of Nigeria today. When you have integrity, when you have integrity, you stand for what is right, what is fair, and what is just, even when you do it to your own heart. He said that the former chief of army staff stood on the platform of integrity. He said that the APC federal government should be thankful to him. The nation Nigeria should be thankful and grateful to President Jonathan and General Minima. Father of the day, Amnayabal of Okobo King Douglas Benderson said the former chief of army staff is a reliable man who has contributed to the growth of the nation. Um, he's a man that anybody can really go with um, to any, any, any length without being disappointed. I'm happy that the chairman of the occasion really came out with the man in Kenneth Minima, the actual personality, his contributions to um, nation building, his contributions to saving this, this country from uh, calamity. Because if he had taken um, another step towards annulment or the army taking over, God knows what would have been uh, the result in Nigeria today. Celebrant and former chief of army staff, Jerry Kenneth Minima, thanked God for his life at 60. He said that getting to 60 has been very adventurous and demanding. Coming on age at 60 years uh, is a very tumultuous journey. It's been very adventurous. It's been very challenging. But we are here today to celebrate it. He thanked Nigerians from across the world for coming together to celebrate his 60th birthday. Across the state across Port Harcourt and across the nation. Some of you have been able to share two activities. Some of you have been able to shelve some to remain here. I will keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to God for being here today. Like I said in the church, the army is an adventurous vocation. It's not a very good one. But the glamour is good, the pride is great, but the risks and hazards are much. For you to serve, serve, retire, come back home with honors, gallants, and serve to the peak and come back home, you deserve some thanksgiving. <laughs> and if you are a little religious, you should go to the God and say thank you. 
He said after over 36 years of service to the nation through the Nigerian army, he has witnessed all shades of life. Brass, 